Hey Doodles, it's Murph here and today we are looking at a pencil sharpener that can give you some super pointy tips. So I picked up a Durant Super Point manual sharpener. So this is the full size one, they've also got a mini one. Anyway, this one here cost me 25 Australian dollars, uh, but I didn't pay any shipping because I got it with an order of like colouring books and stuff from Amazon. So I'll have a affiliate link down below if you're interested. Uh, we don't really need to read the box, do we? I don't think we do. It doesn't really say too much on it. It just tells you that there's super points for decarb work. It's got a helical blade and it's got a desk clamp. Obviously, we've got some instructions. I'm just going to change to desk here, which isn't very good because of the light I've got. Oh, well. So that's what she looks like. So this does seven millimeter to nine millimeter barrel pencils. It will do hexagonal circle, obviously. It's got a pretty tiny reservoir. I think they're all like that really, but anyway. So I'm going to be using it to sharpen my Posca pencils. So we'll have a look. So yeah, you just <laughs> squeeze them together as you just saw me do and pull it all the way out. Hold it like that so that the teeth in here move out of the way so you can put your pencil on. And then sharpen clockwise. It really does make a super point, doesn't it? So I've sharpened all my Posca pencils with this. And wow, do we're not lying when they said it is a super point sharpener. Look at the points on these. Now one thing I've noticed with it is that it is very reliable. So with I think all helical sharpeners, I'm not quite sure, they are supposed to stop sharpening as soon as your point is sharpened to whatever setting you have on it. Because with this one here, I can have it so that it makes shorter points, more stubby, and longer points but it does not do as long points as this boy here does. Now, with this one here, it has eaten through some of my pencils because it has not stopped sharpening once it was sharpened. My brute furnace squares are eight, a few of them. So yeah, this one's a little bit risky sometimes, but this one was completely reliable. I've got one pencil that's shorter than the rest, but that is because it broke and I can't, blame that on the sharpener so all in all I'm very happy with the $25 this cost me compared to the $40 or $50 this one cost me I'm going to put this one on my stubby setting so that I have a stubby sharpener which I need to be careful with so it doesn't eat my pencils and then I'll have this for my super points that I want with things like my polychromos so yeah if you desire really 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 nice sharp tips then this Derwent <laughs> super point manual sharpener is gonna do it for you if you're still watching at this point you must have enjoyed the video so it would be really nice if you would consider poking that like button and let me know what you thought of the video in the meantime I've got some videos here I think you might like to watch see you next time doodles